so when you go ahead and try to start tying your horse, and then we've got little tie blockers. I've got two of them out yep. there on the tree. And that would obviously be what you do next. They can pull to a point until they stop panicking, and then they'll go ahead and give back to the pressure, and then you can kind of go from there. Oh, that was a good one, buddy. That was good. But he also did a great big body shake, which tells me that he's okay. The the flies, if he was super worried, he wouldn't have done the big body body shake. Yep. Oh, yeah. We might see a little show here in a minute. So we'll try to get him walking around here a little bit. But as far as... Um, come on. Just keep walking with me. Keep the wind blowing. But as far as... Um, is getting him used to like fly spray and stuff. I mean, that's un unfortunately that's another session altogether. Yeah, and uh, to, but in all honesty, it's not that big a deal if you know how to approach it. And yep. Yeah, you can do that too. Well, she she should be okay with it then. So even the little things that I'm doing right here next to this horse, I'm not untying her. I'm just going through the motions and just letting her know it's okay. But I'm just I'm I'm just fidgeting with things over here, letting her know it's okay. She's having a hard time with that with that horse fly. If that's what they are down here in this neck of the woods. Freaking prehistoric sons of guns. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the southeast, but I lived here for eight years. Good job. Good job. Good job. Well, here's the cool news. I got here a couple hours ago. I mean, this is not a big problem. I mean, it has been for you, but it's literally, if you if you put the work in, you, you should be able to do this quite often. When I walk into a pen with a horse, I never have expectations. I don't have good expectations. I don't have bad expectations. I'm just going in a pen with a horse. That's all I'm doing. So when I walk in, and you can go ahead and get that fly if you want. Go ahead, get it. There you go. Good job. But I don't come into the pen with any expectations. And they realize that. Okay, so when I go in there with no intentions whatsoever, no expectations, they say, okay, this guy is probably not a threat. Even though I've got this great big beard and I come across as, you know, straight on. Go ahead. That's all right. Did you get it? I'm going to leave you alone here in just a minute. I'm just, just let me finish up. But. <laughs> this would be a situation um, where within just a matter of days, you know, you'll, you're going to be just fine. Doing it every day. If, if you just do it and, and only do it three days in a row and then leave them be for a couple of days and then three days in a row and let them be for a couple of days. Everybody's a trainer. Yep, yeah, I, I know. I get that. And that's the thing. You know, we go um, like a lot of people, a lot of clinicians are going to go around and they're going to say, send me video of the horse and. And they're picking and choosing what they're walking into, you know, to make sure that they have a successful thing. I don't give a shit. I'm here to help. Okay. So whatever issue you have, I'm coming to help with that issue. And if it's just as simple as, as you know, narrowing that gap of communication between, you know, a human and a horse, that's it. But then giving you the tools to go forward, go further and continue to grow. And then my phone number is always open. Leave a message. You'll hear back from me. I promise. Thank <laughs> you.